Tamara Joan Short loves surfing the web, keeping up with the latest health news, but the news she got last May after a routine exam took her completely by surprise. She had endometrial cancer. I was just very, very frightened. I didn't know um, what it was, um, what it would entail, what my life would be like, um, what kind of treatment there was, if there was any. But just recently, a study on endometrial cancer found that women who drank coffee were at less risk for the disease. Mercy Medical Center Dr. Hyung Ru says they don't know what's in coffee that guards against endometrial cancer, but doctors believe it may lower the amounts of insulin and estrogen in the body. Insulin has a, is a factor in promoting cancer risk. The, the theory is that coffee uh, improves the body's ability to process insulin, and so there's less insulin in the body. If you have too much estrogen, that causes a buildup of the lining of the uterus, and that's one of the big risk factors for developing endometrial cancer. Other risk factors for endometrial cancer, obesity, never having been pregnant, and a family history of the disease or colon cancer. And if you're thinking about drinking more coffee, Mercy Medical Center dietitian Kelly O'Connor says, remember, too much caffeine can be harmful, so drink coffee in moderation. We really probably wouldn't tell people who don't drink coffee start drinking and go up to four cups a day. And because the study really didn't show, you know, actual cause and effect, we probably would just say stick to about two cups a day. And good news for Tamara. She is now in remission after undergoing a hysterectomy. I'm doing great. Um, things are progressing very well. Um, I feel very healthy. Um, I feel very blessed that um, today I can say that I'm on the road to great recovery.